and good morning people welcome back to Dragon Quest 11 I'm not by the strand <laughs> I did say I was going to be there but um, well I got level 26 didn't I and well that makes a whole lot of difference in my fun size forge actually I'll show you the reason uh, yeah let's show you the reason can I actually check? I might be able to check that somewhere else. Um, miscellaneous info. Fun size forge. Nope, that's not it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, so Forging Flourishes. At level 26, you get this one, Quadrabash. Strong Strike over four squares. Basically, it's Bash in a four square square. I guess. And because of that, and since it only costs 12, it's basically double, almost. And it makes crafting and reworking so much easier double edge bash ash does quite a bit it with its strike over two vertical squares quadra bash just makes it so much easier because you still do have a limited amount of focus at the moment I've got 85 and that without quadra bash isn't quite in or wasn't quite enough to get some of the equipment bits that I have done, done. Let's go to, well, the hero. I now, now have a platinum, sword, a platinum power sword plus three with 223 attack. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm getting rid of that for the entirety of the first bit of the game. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be bettered for quite, quite some time. Still can't believe about that, that flipping jackpot, which allowed me to get to this point with it. I haven't done anything with the round shield, uh, with the white shield. Uh, simple fact is, it only gains five in, the ter in terms of defense. There's not really a good reason to do it with that for that amount of defense. Yeah, it's good, but I don't really need it, so I've gone against go uh, doing that. Malleable mask. That was. That one was possible without the quadra bash, but it was still easier with it. Dapper doublet and the natty cravat were also two I was waiting for quadra bash for because it makes it so much easier. Actually, I think it makes it possible. <laughs> and as you can see, Silvando is now a very dapper chap. Eric hasn't changed. Veronica is now wearing the cute cap, so she's switched over to a green dotty or spotty uniform. I do have the dotty set and the dotty number for Serena as well. Most importantly for where I am though, yeah, say hello to Jade. <laughs> I have created the bunny suit plus three. That is also what I was waiting for Quadra Bash for because it makes it possible. Unless you go up a couple more levels and have enough focus. 
is not equipped at the moment because honestly she's got the sp uh, spangled breast address which is actually better in almost every way actually yeah better defense better charm so yeah the only thing I need to uh, don't know about is if she has to be wearing the entire ensemble or is the outfit in enough to fulfill this quest it is Well, Jade. At least she made that man too, too happy. <sighs> yeah, too happy. But uh, we did it. And we got a garter, which actually I've already got one, so didn't really change too much. But it's a quest done. So we're done here. Let's head back to the Strand. This should now be a lot easier to go round. Because I have quite a bit more in the way of... Defensive gear, plus... The, pl the direction I went at the end of the last part is a little bit higher than where I'm going but we are making a stop off at this particular island down here because well of course we are spin chillers uh, party pooper Being able to hit a group is so much easier in these cases. Yes, they do have fairly high defense, no, fairly high evasion because they basically live in tornadoes. Another one bites the dust. But uh, that's fine. Okay, so we have two pieces of treasure. We have, which looks like one of them is at least behind the, that locked door over there. One missing enemy. And four sparkling spots. So let's get this done quick. I, since there's, uh, there's just one missing enemy, I don't need to do too much here, which is nice. we can move on fairly quickly. I don't need the levels. Level 26 actually I think is good for a little bit of time now. Do you need to figure out what the extra enemy is here though? Hmm. Iron ore, silver ore, more silver ore. I'm actually looking for platinum ore at the moment. Uh, no, I didn't want that. Oh, on demand, you uh, Yggdrasil leaves. 
Let's do this. Okay. That was a bush. <laughs> that cast a sizzle there, or sizz. Eric, can we do anything with you? No, we still need one more point, of course, and I still haven't decided what I'm doing with Serena yet. Which isn't a bad thing at this point, honestly. She's got her minimum needs at the moment. And we'll take the second chest up here, since we know where the first one is. Crafting comforting clothing. Oh, robes of serenity. That's actually quite nice. Do I need another one of those? I might think about it because those are actually quite good at this stage. I might just need the one though and stick it and just so yeah I might just leave it as what we've got. And over here we have gold ore. Eh, so there's nothing real except for the Yggdrasil leaves and that item in there likely. There's nothing here really that important. And our uh, last enemy. The thing about big enemies usually is they can go to sleep very easily. They also wake up very easily sometimes. Um, frizzle, yeah. Seventy six, that's honestly not as bad as it could be. So, all done. Yep. Unless there's an, um, as a chest over here that makes the other one not count, which there isn't, we're good to go. So I'm going to go. I'm going to zoom back to the strand in a moment. I'm just going to make a quick stop off at a spot of healing, and yeah, I will meet you there. Okay, we have. There are two more islands on the outskirts that I can go round to get to if I wanted to, but we're going to hold off on those for a bit. And if my. Okay. If my controller would actually allow me to turn, we're going to go over to Lonolulu Bay. I am going the right way, aren't I?
That's a little bit of extra whip power for Silvando. Uh, Starstruck gives Dazzle. Ashes of Love deals damage against humanoid foes. I believe I want Starstruck. Okay. Yeah, time for this very long journey though. We are speeding this up along uh, along the way because, yeah, you do get more monsters sometimes along this, but honestly, the sea Let's isn't. Go. The sea isn't there really to be... ...fought on. It's there for... or getting in the way. I feel. Just as, as a means of a journey. And you're making the first chart, uh, uh, first move. That's fine. Almost there now. Yeah, it doesn't take too long. Just the enemies along the way can. Hello, boats. Oh, okay. We'll move on then. Yeah, the sea isn't dangerous down here, especially not where I'm at. But it's just. A passage of time sort of thing. Lonolulu Bay though. New town. Three sparkly spots. Obviously no monsters. And 18 pieces of treasure. Um, where's my list? I know I've got it around here somewhere. Okay, that should. Whether, uh, whether how, how complete this list is, I couldn't exactly tell you, but uh, there's some wave weed. Closed off well. And... Welcome to Lonolulu Bay. Oh, here we are in beautiful Lonolulu, a seaside paradise that Shell tells me is home to the prettiest pals in all the world. <gasps> oh, pals. 
Bright blue waves, pure white sand, and fabulous jewels just lying on the beach. Truly, darlings, this is the promised land. And no one cares. Although it does seem a little less promising than I expected, where is everybody? Something's not right here. Still, it's not our problem. Let's just find this Kai guy and get out of here. Well... Thank you. We will do our best. Oh, Tentacula. So similar to the one we faced, or well, that was attacking us in Gondolia. Well, at the very least, there are some people here, but one of the things I am noticing, apart from that one person over there, they've all been the women. So they must, all the, and an old man, and so all the, Men must have gone out to fight the tentac uh, fight the tentacular. That's usually the case of what happens here in these sorts of situations, I suppose. Three thousand gold, and we're still looking for a whole lot of other items. Can't get round on the beach, okay. So where did the that lady said up top? Uh, so I don't think it's here. So we're safe to run around this little part looking for items. Plus if we don't talk to anyone we're fine that way as well. Maybe. Hello, mini metal. Oh, yeah, I need to go and get that rune staff, don't I? I really should go and do that because that's likely going to be a big upgrade for considering how long I've had that wizard staff for Veronica. Anything in here? There's a aerofoil earrings. Aerofoil earrings. Um, that wasn't what I wanted, but that's fine. Oh yeah, it did actually help because I hadn't equipped the steel helmet that I created as well. Uh, aerofoil earrings. Defense, charm, wind, uh, wind damage reduction. Hmm. Might look into those a little bit later. Uh, yeah, let's not go. Actually, we can go round this way a little bit. Just not too far.
book. The Deadly Denizens of the Deep. Oh. Um. Darve Legend. This war. Raising up the ranks of the Sword Rustian Nav Royal Navy. So, Darve is a former Royal Navy officer from Zordrust. Huh. Didn't actually know that. I... I'm... Well, we know he knows his way around a ship, so... Yeah, that makes sense, but I didn't realize he was that. Hmm. Hello there. Do you have anything new that I can actually buy? It's been a while since I actually bought anything. So there's got to be some decent things coming up in these shops. Even the kids are man in the main desk. Four hundred gold, not bad. Uh, let's actually go round the side here. Nothing. Okay. Off to the weapon shop next. Ah, quarterly sword. And. Yeah, that carbon steel stack claymore is... With a wand... Extra damage against dragons. And lightning staff... There it is. Yeah, that's starting to get a massive improvement on... That wizard staff, but I think I want that rune staff more. Beastly ball whip, I can make one of those. Once I get the you know, the items for it, so I think I'm going to wait until then. Building a blade of blistering brutality. And you can now make, we can now make court swords, which I don't need to do.
armor wise light shield not an improvement on the white shield uh, steel shield no I don't need one of those Yeah, I'm still good for equipment, except for the start, uh, starting on Veronica's weapon. But even that, I can just go and get that rune, that rune staff, and that beastly bull whip would be an improvement for Zervando. But I can make one of those once I get the equipment, the items. My first pearly pieces, pink, pink pearl rings and rosaries. Anything up here? Oh, there's a pot. Ah, some horse manure. Just what I wanted. Anything around the back here? Nope, let's go inside then. Ah, book. Memoirs of a Treasure Hunter, Volume 2. Anything more? Um, path to the east of town that goes up where the the magical key lock is there and up north to where the church is. The church is actually really far back considering Yeah, and there's no other real church, it's just really far back. Yeah, not getting in there anytime soon. Every day the should start with a bang. Do you mean a literal bang from a cannon? Okay. Hundred gold and seed of defense. Okay. That seed of defense is nice. Um what else are we missing? Well, let's continue on. I've Oh, we need to go up, <laughs> up the middle there. Okay. And 
anyone home? This definitely looks like the biggest house in the area, but just no one here. Another sun bleached seashell. Kitty's here at least. Kitty will protect the place. Let's not walk into a tree. And this place is empty as well. Hmm. Why do I get the fin of hit me something? I don't want to go up to there just yet. Ah, pink pearl. Okay, that's one of the items. And... I am missing one more, I think, of this area. But it is a Narspicious, which I can get in a lot of other places, so we are going to miss out on that for a moment. I might find it again later. It might be up here, actually. Attention! Good. Then I'll tell you the tale of the terrible curse that befell our village long ago. The curse of a crafty creature with a face as pretty as a pearl, but a heart as black as coal. Now, let's begin. Once upon a time, a master fisherman lived in Lanalulu. He caught more fish and gathered more pearls than any of the other men in the village. The mayor of Lanalulu, the big kahuna, was very fond of this fisherman and offered him the hand of his beloved daughter. 
the fisherman and the kahuna's daughter agreed to be married, and the future of the village looked bright. Until the day of the storm. The fisherman was caught up in a terrible tempest, and he and his catch were thrown into the ocean. As he sank through the water, he saw the pearls he had gathered shining like stars all around him. The light faded, and he prepared to meet his maker. But instead, he met her. A mermaid more beautiful than any creature he had seen before. She held him in her arms and whispered in his ear. I will give you your life if you give me your soul. Many days passed and the fisherman did not return. The people of the village thought him dead and held a funeral for him on the beach. But just as they were beginning to sing his soul into the next world, he appeared, exhausted but alive. The Kahuna's daughter was overjoyed to have her beloved home and stayed by his bedside night and day, nursing him back to health. But the fisherman was no longer the man she knew. All day he would stare out to sea, muttering over and over, I must marry that mermaid. Then one day he threw his fiance aside and ran to the harbor screaming, I must go back to her. The kahuna was furious. He banished the fisherman from the village and burned his boat so he could never set sail again. And so, the man who was once the pride of Lonolulu spent the rest of his days alone on Saikiki Beach, haunted by the mermaid who stole his soul. That's all for today, children. I'll tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. Mermaids are scary! Whoa! The mermaid's coming to steal our souls! Run! <laughs> Aloha, friends. Is there anything I can do for you? Maybe. We're looking for a fisherman called Kai. Do you know where we can find him? Oh, my! What a coincidence! You must be looking for my son, Kainui. Are you friends of his? I'm afraid he's not here at the moment. All the men have sailed west to fight the giant squid that's been attacking our ships. If you want to hurry things along, Maybe you could go lend a hand. Once that monster's dealt with, they'll all come back to the village, sure enough. But be wary, friends. That squid isn't the only danger out on the seas. Don't let a crafty mermaid make you all pupule. I'd hate to see you go crazy. So, what's the truth about Michelle? Because that doesn't see doesn't seem like the. Uh, I thought you were just there as a uh, random tockle that would disappear. Um, random person that was just sorry. Lost my train of thought. Michelle doesn't seem like the person that would steal someone's soul. And 
Lona Lulu seems to be pushing some conceptions on mermaids. Maybe from that incident. There is another thing that bothers me on it, but we'll get into that a little bit later. <laughs> oh. Sorry. And that door is locked tight, so we're not getting to the back at the moment. help with that tentacular because that seems like the only re uh, only way for us to get to speak to Kai or Kainui and that does mean going out to the sea and fighting because it's a tentacular we're a lot lot stronger than we was when we originally came uh, when we originally faced the one around gondolia So, let's head over to where the other ships are. We'll probably get into a fight along the way. No? You've lost a boat. There were three, now there's two. Must be the gallant squid hunters. I wonder which ones are blushing husband to be. Yahoo! Over here! Excuse me, which one of you big brave boys is Kai? Hmm. They look like they're saying something, but I can't quite make it out. A good view? I love you! Above you! Watch out! Look! Above you! Above you? Look out! Up there! Well, there's that other boat. To be kidding. I'm going to assume that do I look like I kid I'm kidding. I'm ready for anything. Anyways. Tentacular. Three part boss. There's tentacular. The right tentacle and the left tentacle. The left tentacle is currently defending the uh, main body. So let's uh, take that out, shall we? Harvest moon. Harvest moon. And there goes that. I don't believe that's the end of that particular tentacle. I think it's going to be coming back. 
So yeah, let's get some damage on Tentacular while it's happening. Uh, nothing really much for you to do, Veronica, except actually frizzle and I think we're going to take you out for although frizzle does a whole lot of work um... we could do with some month couldn't we uh, line up Really should have done this before, but uh, let's get the, those two into the party. And Harvest Moon. Ah, oh, the right Night Tentacles shield in. Ah, oh, that wasn't too bad. That that one was. <laughs> Okay, cutting edge, we're going to take out the right tentacle now. And that sounds are gone. You're assessing the situation, thank you very much, because we need hustle dance. I'm coming, darling. And we could also do with a buff. A car buff. Uh, umph on the hero. Oh yeah, that's a lot better in terms of incoming damage uh, cutting edge yeah why not speed up speed up And you need to oomph up Jade. Ah, huh? oh, that's good. Sweet breath, sleep. I do have cockadoodle do, so I don't need to worry too much on that. Do we try this? It would hit very hard. But no, let's stick with the Harvest Moon. And you can just heal the hero. Ah, you're in the yellow. This shouldn't be too much longer then. Honestly, you don't have a whole lot left to do. Silvando, so let's take you out and bring in Veronica again. Need a little help. Uh, Scorch and Sweep, we haven't seen it yet, might as well show it. We are missing out on the... Uh, let's do it Actually, this fight's pretty much over, so yeah, Scorch and Sweep. And your pep is almost all over, so let's go. Let's call your pep.
Ah, here come back the tentacles. Had a feeling they were going to come along. And that was a rock the boat. Honestly though, um... We're just going to go for the main body. Did I do all right? You did just fine. 6,000 experience, 4,000 gold. Level 25 for Jade. Level 27 for Veronica. Twenty five for rap. Anything we can do here. Veronica, yes, you need Star for Salvation. And that is Ring of Ruin. That's not the spell I thought it was gonna be. Still I wanted Star for Salvation, so yeah. Wonder where Thing Stick is. It might be that one. Yeah, it's fine. I uh, I need to figure out where I'm going. It's likely going to be back down here. The Magical Might when wielding heavy ones is plus 10 is quite nice. Could be useful. But I think I want Sage's Breath next. Uh, Jade. We're aiming for that one with you, aren't we? Yes. And yeah, that is multifrust. I do want that. Uh, it's going to cost us quite a bit at 18, but I believe it's, f yeah, it's four hits on a group of enemies, so it's not great against, you know, not really that great against normal enemies, but when it's a boss of a single enemy, four hits against it that is very nice the other things i need to do is go up for this agility plus 30 and this strength plus five so yeah we've got a lot of work still to go on jade but mm, almost everything over this side is really nice and her allure is great as well. Uh, Rab, you have Zing Stick. Excellent. Zing Stick is just a great guaranteed revive. Zing does have a chance to miss. Zing Stick does not. That's essentially it. That's just the difference. Next up, I think we're heading for this one. Yeah, I don't really need anti-magic, so probably heading around this way. We'll see. Nice fighting you too. Oh, thank you, thank you, <laughs> darlings. It was nothing, really. Mahalo, mahalo. Whoever you people are, I can't thank you enough. But I can sure feed you enough. Tonight we're gonna have a luau to remember, and you're gonna be the guests of honor. 
Get ready to drink, dance, and fill your belly with fish till you fall down. Come one, come all to Lona Lulu. So, let's uh, head up to the very drunk church priestess. And next time, we're at a luau. Until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.